Okay, so I'm on my way. I'm walking to the thrift market. I have this big reusable bag. I have my water bottle. Um, and I have like maybe $150, but the like equivalent in Guatemalan quetzales. So I'm gonna see what I can find. I may, if I get a lot of stuff, I think I need to buy another bag to check that on my way home. Um, so I'm gonna see, maybe I can find like a cheap backpack there, or maybe I'll just like use this bag when I have to fly home. But, so I stopped by the market for a little bit the other day with my friend who showed me where it was, and today I'm just going along. But one thing is that nothing's really priced there, like you just have to bargain. And because I'm a white American, I know that they're gonna try like overcharging me for stuff. Um, but I bought a Lululemon sports bra the other day for about $4.50. And then I bargained on that, and then I bought a Patagonia vest. And that was about $16.50. So I'm hoping for more good deals like that today. Um, maybe even cheaper prices if I like buy a lot of stuff from the same person. And I just got like a very basic international plan. So my data is very limited. So I really don't want to check comps on stuff unless I really have to. So I think I'm going to stick to a lot of brands that I know and hopefully get some good deals. So when I was in eighth grade, my school district, they had to start learning Spanish then. So by the time I graduated high school, I had learned five years of Spanish. Um, shout out to all my Spanish teachers. So I have like a decent understanding of Spanish, but I'm so rusty because that was five years ago and I really haven't used it since. And so when I speak Spanish, I have such a thick American accent. I'm just like trying so hard to like enunciate clearly. Um, and one of my friends here is like kind of making fun of me for it, but I'm I'm expecting that by at least negotiating in Spanish that hopefully that will get me better deals um, than if I were to just try to do English because that's the way it was at markets in Thailand. So yeah. This is my part of my walk. This part's at least in the shade. Um, and then I'm gonna go through Central Park, Parque Central. Um, I'll try to get a video clip of that too. Also, one of the girls here who's staying at the Airbnb, she had been living here in Antigua for a couple weeks at a homestay learning Spanish. Um, so she has like a host mom who has been making us home cooked meals for breakfast and lunch every day. And we spend like $7.50 total for delivered handmade breakfast and lunch and it's been the best. And the other day when we went to the thrift market, we stopped and got some fresh cut fruit. And it was like, it's kind of loud here. It was 64 cents for like hand cut watermelon or mango. And it was like decent portions. And I was like, this would be like $7 in the US. Also, this market is like a 20 minute walk away. So if I get too much stuff, I may have to like get a taxi or a tuk-tuk for the ride home uh, because it'll also be really hot. Okay, I think I made it. Never mind, I think I'm in the wrong place. Okay, I made it. So this is kind of what it looks like. There's like a table here, super loud music, all this stuff hanging up. Um, I think I'm just gonna dig in. Here's one of the first things I saw. Not a great brand for me, but like pretty decent. And Taylor, old Navy J. Crew. Okay, just got done with step one. Um, got a bunch of good stuff off of a little haul. I got All Saints, New with Tag Free People, Zaya. Um, yeah, so lots of good stuff. I also left a lot of stuff behind. Um, 
and then I asked how much for everything and he said 180 which comes out to $24 um, so at this stop things were like $340 a piece which is cheaper than the US um, I think I probably should have negotiated but honestly happy with what I got Cuestan para todos? Este es de la. Sí. Aquí a tres. Oh, perfecto. Y estas treinta y cinco cada uno. Para dos? Son setenta. Setenta? Okay. Okay, just did another stop, spent about 9.30. I got a pair of Lululemon shorts, this cute little Zara overall dress, and um, a free people tank. So that was about 3.11 per item. So pretty good, bringing my average down. are getting so tired because everything's like up so high and I'm like also holding my bag okay I've been at this place for like 10 minutes this is all the Lululemon two pairs of shorts three tops I'm so excited I hope there's more just spent $40 on all of that Lululemon stuff and an apology shirt and I grabbed a Lululemon jacket. Um, so very excited about all of that. I didn't negotiate because I was so excited. But then it looks like not all of the shops are open today and they just like put these tarps over the ones that are closed. Okay, it's been like an hour and a half. I'm getting a little tired and my bag is getting full and heavy um so that's not great um i think i'm gonna start making my way back and i'm probably gonna stop for ice cream or some fruit on the way just whatever there is but i think i'm definitely gonna come back next week because there will be a few days when everyone is working at least during the morning and yeah i'm having a good time here okay i spent 86 dollars i am heading home now um very excited gonna do a little haul for you guys Okay, now moving on to the haul of everything I got. I spent a good amount of money. One thing that I wish I had done, they, I would go up to them, I would be like, ¿Cuánto cuestan para todos? And you know, I usually had multiple things and they would, they would, you know, look through everything, maybe do some calculations on their phone and give me a number. And I would always be so excited. I'd be like, okay, yeah. And like give them the money. I didn't negotiate at all, which I probably should have done because nothing was marked. And if I was buying a bunch, I'm sure they would have cut me a deal, but prices were very nice. So jumping in, <laughs> this is a We The Free, just like black top, but it's new with tags, very lightweight. So it won't be too heavy in my suitcase. Then a brand that I like very rarely find, All Saints. This is a little, it's like a one cold shoulder sweater. Um, and the thing was, I couldn't look up comps on anything. So I was like, no, All Saints is a good brand. I don't know if this sweater is gonna do great, uh, but it was cheap enough that I was like, I'm willing to risk it. Then this little Free People lace top. Okay, this doesn't have the tag, but this is Anthropology Pilcro. And I sold this top probably like a month or so ago. I purchased it from the bins and it sold for like, $25, $30 very quickly. Um, so I'll have to measure it and put an estimate for size, but excited to find that. I've also sold this before. This is a little Zaya kind of like crop tank. Um, this was a medium. I think when I sold it, it was for like $25. Okay, and this is really cute if I can figure it out. Um, so this is again, free people. It has like this little lace bandeau on the inside. This is a small, 
Um, this was very cheap. So in the videos, you can see there's like stuff on tables and then stuff hanging up at most of the shops. And the stuff on the tables was way cheaper. So like that free people top and the other free people top, those are both really cheap. And then I got some Nike Pro shorts. Um, I think these were like $2. Black is really good and these sell so quick for me that I can sell that and I can probably like cover all of my food that I'm going to eat today. This brand I have not heard of before. This is Bay Azura and it doesn't have a size tag but it's got this cute little crane print and then these sleeves are like these ruffles and I was kind of going back and forth on this because it was like seven dollars but I was like this is really cute. I think it'll do really well. It gives me kind of like Zara vibes. And speaking of Zara, then I got this cute little overall dress. Um, this is a size 10. Honestly, I might wear it while I'm here still. <laughs> and then this is a Wrangler Western kind of like snap button down shirt. And I have not sold this before, but something told me that these would do really well. Um, actually, my ex-boyfriend told me that his aunt sells a lot of Wrangler pearl snap button-down shirts. Um, and I don't know if these count as pearl snap, they're like black, but I was like, honestly, it's a fun print. I think it'll do well. And moving on to the absolute shit ton of Lululemon I found. Um, it was like incredible. There were a few places where I found Lululemon and then I kind of knew what to look for when looking at the other vendors. Um, so some of them did have stuff sorted by like, here's a bunch of kids stuff, here's a bunch of women's coats, here's a bunch of active wear. Um, so I could kind of eyeball which ones had active wear. And then additionally, in front of many of the stores, they would have like items hanging up and it was normally like better items. So I was able to eyeball and see like, okay, they have a bunch of like Nike and Under Armour and Adidas hanging up. They probably have a good amount of activewear there and it's probably decent. Um, so that was kind of my strategy. So some of what I got, these Lululemon Hottie Hot shorts, I wanna say these are size 10. Um, yep, a 10. And they even have the little style coat on there. And I bought so much Lululemon at the same place and you know, I brought everything over and I was like, quanta question para todos. And the guy was like flipping through everything and he was like holding these up saying that like these were gonna cost more. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna sell them for like 50 bucks. Um, but one of my friends here, she was like, can I try on like all the Lululemon shirts you got? I was like, yeah. And she said she might buy these. And she was like, what would you charge me? And I like did the math on like my average cost for everything. And it came out to like 450. And I was like, you know, you're a good friend. Like I would, I would give them to you for 15 bucks. Also, I currently owe her money. So I might just pay her with these shorts. <laughs> um, but moving on, at the same place I got these Lululemon shorts. These are a size 10, rib tag still attached. Um, these are very nice. They don't have a liner, so um, your underwear might show. So be careful. I was like, these are really cute and they have a pocket in the back. Moving on, then I got these shorts. I don't know if these will do as well, but they're size six. Got the little pocket in the back. Um, and I did find fake Lululemon there. Um, so in one pair of shorts that I found that I didn't end up purchasing, it didn't have a rip tag and I was like, okay, no big deal, people rip them out. And then this pocket on the back, I unzipped it and there was no size dot. And the material on the inside, this is like athletic-y. It was like kind of a slick material. I was like, okay, I've never seen that before. And I've, you know, found a decent amount of Lululemon. And they usually have that size dot somewhere. I even looked for like a pocket on the inside and didn't see it. Um, so I did leave those behind. And then there was a jacket that I left behind. But the stuff I did get. Okay, and then this green... Lululemon tank top. This has a built-in bra and honestly I might wear this um, because I look so good in green. Oh I didn't think it had any spots for padding but it does. Oh yeah I might I'm like definitely keeping this. Also I might go get it cropped at Lululemon just to be like hip length not like super short but they do that for free so I need to try it out. 
then this Lululemon top, this is just like a lightweight orange top. I was like, that's really nice. Some more shorts. These are black. These are size six. Also have the style code, so they're more recent. I paid $4 for these. Um, again, I didn't bargain. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Um, this tank top, this one is older. Maybe I shouldn't have got this, but built-in bra usually does pretty well. Um, oh, there's like this hook thing. Oh, you like tighten the bra. Okay, anyways, got this one little cut out in the back. I was like, that's cute. And then I got this men's tank top. This is like the, I want to say Vent Tech. I've sold a few of these. This is a men's medium. It's honestly kind of like a tan color. I sold a few gray. Gray did really well for me. Um, and then I got this Swiftly top. I love this. I'm going on a volcano hike tomorrow. Um, by the time you're watching this, I'll be back. I might wear this. This is a size eight. Um, so yeah, can you imagine me on top of a mountain in this? <laughs> and then lastly, I got this Lululemon jacket. Oh, cute. The hood has a little like ponytail hole. I didn't even notice that until now. Um, but this was like hanging up high and I, there was like a girl working there and I could not tell how old she was. She looked pretty young. Um, and I think it was like her dad's shop, but I was like, hola, puedo ver una chaqueta? And she was like, si. Sí. And I was like, este? And like pointed to it and she got it down for me. Um, so like when I did that, I was like, okay, I want to check the pocket and make sure there is a size dot to, you know, prove that it's real. And this one's a size four. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I've seen this pattern before. Look, it, it, it like flares out a little bit at the bottom. It's so cute. Um, it's like a half zip. I might have to wear this back on the plane. Um, so anyways, that is what I bought. $86 for all of this. I do think I'm going to go back, but I really need to negotiate also because I'm running out of cash. But that is what I got. I honestly had a great time. And I was there. I was like, this is the best day ever. Like I'm traveling, I'm thrifting, I'm having a good time. And then I was like, what if I just like never get a regular job again? What if I just like am a full-time reseller, but like once a month I go to some other country to thrift. I was like, that would be so awesome because it would all be tax deductible. <laughs> so I'd get a travel bunch and like make money. And yeah, it was really good. I had a good time. And also just like, I went alone, which I haven't done very much alone here because there are other people in the house and often we'll be like, oh, do you want to do this too? Um, which has been really nice to get to know other people, but sometimes I'm like, I just need time by myself. So thank you for watching. If you like this, leave a like, comment if you've like traveled anywhere for thrifting. I want to hear if there's like any other really good spots. Um, and make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Love you. Bye.